What's up, guys? Welcome back. John Levesque here, your host, joined by Kent Weir and Pranav. As always, we've been off for a few weeks. Kent took a vacation, and because of that, me and Pranav decided, like, yeah, we're not going to make content either. We're on vacation, too. But we're back today. First things first, we have a bet to settle. Pranav and I, in our last episode, when you were on vacation, Kent, we bet about what beer it was you were drinking in your hot tub. I guessed a Pilsner. Pranav guessed a Rainier. Do you remember your vacation? What beer it was you were drinking in your hot tub? So, so here's the interesting thing about this whole scenario is that I actually went away from my vacation. And so wow. as a result, neither of those beers were consumed during that, that vacation itself. But, okay. however, if I would have been at home in my hot tub, what was in my fridge was what Pranav had chosen. Oh, so, so what I heard was neither of us won, but Pranav was the closer loser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> First in, last out, man. Like, you gotta be FIFO. FIFO is the queuing system, not LIFO or, or FILO. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. We're just gonna go ahead and keep moving on. Okay, so today, we are focused on RPA in a day content. I heard that the version two of that content has just launched. Is that correct, Kent? Yes, V2. V2 of the content has released. And what's significant about this release is it's based upon the new RPA experience that we provide called Power Automate Desktop, which was announced at Ignite just a couple weeks ago. And what we've done is refresh the content so that you folks can go ahead and try an end-to-end -end scenario out on your own using the latest and greatest Power Automate desktop. Nice, very cool. Okay, so then what's our plan for today? We're not gonna run through the whole like six hours of RP in a day, right? No, I thought no? we were. I mean, I don't want to, I don't <laughs> have time for that. I vote for RPA in one episode. <laughs> RPA in a day. In <laughs> yeah, no, well, we'll stick to that. It is Friday, we've got things to do. Of places well not really places to go but things to do yeah so <laughs> so maybe what we'll do is uh well maybe let's take a step back so Pranav I know you've been super close to pad power automate desktop uh you know I guess anything you want to share just related to that new release that new capability that we should share with folks just before we talk about the training material yeah like uh, I think one thing try it out pad which is power automate desktop is our evolution in our RPA journey and it brings in significant capabilities around recording uh, SAP applications, Java applications, recording mainframe terminals. It, it sort of brings in a rich set of capabilities from a recording perspective, from a debugging perspective, uh, from a controls perspective. You have for loops, you have if else, you have about like 300 plus actions. So it's a full blown editor that a developer can now use to build these uh, RPA bots that you can then trigger from uh, Power Automate service. So I highly recommend to check out Power Automate Desktop. It's fairly new. It even has the brand new logo of Power Automate as well. So do check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and just so folks are clear, like there, this is essentially the evolution of Win Automation. So that was the, the tool that Softomotive built that was part of the acquisition this past spring. And really what this is, is the evolution of that tool and the integration of it into Power Automate Desktop. And so we're gonna be spending a whole bunch of time on this show talking about Power Automate Desktop and all of the features and benefits of this unified story. Uh, but today what we're just gonna do is run you through the training and uh, just really show you a demo and talk a little bit about the scenario itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. You know, I'll add on to that real quick. One question I've gotten a lot already about Power Automate Desktop is, is it, a full version of Power Automate in a desktop tool? And the answer to that is no, not yet. It is really focused on RPA right now, the, the UI automation end of things, the, the bot making side of things. Uh, it is not on the API cloud automation side of things right now. There are plans to bring that, that authoring ability in in the future, but right now, as Kent said, it's really the next evolution of Win Automation focused on RPA. Yeah, I know that's good to call out. Yeah, and we do we talk a little bit about this in this blog post. We'll we'll link it right here. Give Gabe some work. 
Um, and uh, then you can go ahead and uh, download the content. And then as part of that, you'll see the instructions on the prerequisites, the tools that you do need in order to make this work. But yes, this is very much a rich robotic process automation experience. And we still use our API flows in the cloud from the FlowMaker portal, flow.microsoft.com. Now here's just a, a brief overview of all of the modules that exist. It's about eight hours worth of content. And then what we thought we'd do is just show you a brief demo of what you're gonna go ahead and build. Now the scenario itself is a fairly common scenario you find in RPA solutions, and that's true around invoice processing. So we'll have a contractor that's working on a project, and once they're done the project, they wanna be able to submit their invoice for payment. So what they're gonna go ahead and do is send that invoice in by email as an attachment. Then what we're gonna do is use API flows in Power Automate to be able to go ahead and extract this email and the related attachment and send it off to AI Builder, where AI Builder is gonna scrape the PDF and extract the relevant details from that invoice, such as the who, who is the account, the contact, the amount, and the date. Once we have that, we're gonna shift it over to Microsoft Teams to include a human in the loop scenario, where in this case, we're gonna have the owner of that project go ahead and approve or reject that invoice. Uh, in this case, they'll approve it, and then this is where we're gonna tap into the Power Automate desktop capabilities by going ahead and being able to automate and drive a legacy Windows 32 application. We'll go ahead and do some real-time currency conversions uh, through web scraping and web automation. And then lastly, we'll highlight some of the rich Excel actions that are part of Power Automate Desktop. Now, since we've approved this invoice, we'll close the loop and send an email back to the contractor itself once that's done. Uh, one more slide, then we'll just get into the demo. This is essentially what this looks like from a solution architecture perspective. We're gonna take advantage of connectors where they're available. Like this is part of our, our rich capabilities in API flows. And we don't wanna be scraping mailboxes using recording techniques. We wanna be able to use the API and access the data directly. We'll go ahead and call AI Builder and Teams as we discussed before. And then what we'll do is we'll reach out to a local computer where we have the on-premises data gateway installed plus the Power Automate desktop and UI Flow agent installed, where we can then go ahead and locally drive these applications. And then we'll pass the context back up to the cloud just to send that final email response. So you guys ready to see a demo? I'm always ready for a demo. Cool, all right. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and send that email. And so we'll go ahead and click forward. And then I will open that up for you here just shortly once I go ahead and click on send. That, that's cheating when you send an email. email. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's the invoice. And uh, so what, what we're gonna do is this invoice is gonna go into AI Builder. We're gonna scrape out the specific components that we're interested in, like bill to contact the total balance due and also the date. And then we will use that information to drive the rest of our process. I love that your company name was Litware. <laughs> that's rad. That's, that's where Kent was taking his vacation. Litware? <laughs> and, and having Pilsner. No, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, we, we both lost that one. Don't try and get smart now. <laughs> Okay, so, so closest back. loser is still loser. <laughs> Let's focus, guys. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, this is our API flow. So we've retrieved the email. We've gone ahead. We've called AI Builder already. Uh, this we haven't paused the recording. This is actually you know pretty pretty snappy. We're going then going to go ahead and send an adaptive card over to Teams. And so that's what's happening right here. Is I now have a notification from the Flow bot where I can go ahead and choose to reject or approve this invoice. Notice we've got some nice graphics here and rich formatting, and that's because we're using an adaptive card. And now we can go ahead and click approve. Clicking reject just wouldn't have the same impact for the rest of the demo. And <laughs> then what's gonna happen is we're gonna continue on our way and shortly we're gonna see the Contoso app get launched where we're gonna drive that Win32 experience. There we go. We've got, you can see the icon, uh, you know, no hands. Uh, this is the, the bot doing the work itself. 
And so we've now recorded that information and we've kicked off Excel where we've gone ahead and recorded that transaction. And as you can see, everything matches up. Life is good. And uh, I can go ahead and now close these. Naturally, you can close them via the script. But uh, once again, not uh, the demo just doesn't have as much impact. Now, very quickly, just to show folks what is Power Automate Desktop. So this is Power Automate Desktop. This is my uh, basically Explorer experience where I can go ahead and see all of the different flows, UI flows that, that have been built. It is environment aware. So here I'm just operating in the default environment. And this is really my rich editor experience. On the left hand side here, we've got all of those actions that Pranav talked about. Uh, it approaches 400. And these are kind of like connectors in the sense that they're pre-built functions that we can use to really accelerate our development experience. Here's kind of the core canvas where we can go ahead and drag and drop all of these different actions, configure them. And then on the right here, we've got our variables, our inputs, our outputs, where we can pass data from our API flow into this process, such as the account, amount, contact. And then we can return things like the invoice ID itself. Now, one thing I also want to show you is this notion of subflows, which is kind of like child flows. And that's where I've embedded all of the Excel activities. And so these are some of those very useful actions from the Excel side of things where we can go ahead and find the first free row of an Excel worksheet, go ahead and then add data in, and then go ahead and exit. So all in all, a very rich experience. We can do local debugging, we can launch our recorders, and really get a lot of work done quickly. And then once we're done, wire it up to our API flow and then really extend our RPA process into the cloud. Ooh, nice. That was, that was a lot of stuff going on. That was intense. And like, I like how, I like this tool. The new look is, is very nice. No, yeah. it is, it's a great, it is a great experience. And uh, this is public preview. So if this is what public preview looks like, you know, just wait for GA, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's I, I like it a lot. I think it's come a long way. Looking at the first, you know, Win Automation tool and and when that came in, and now this new version, it's 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 very much more Power Automate. You know, it feels it feels clean. It feels like a whole uh, unified experience. And what? And that's a great term, great way to put it. Because what's going on behind the scenes here? I did show you the environment picker. So what? what happens is when I click the save button, it's actually saving this script up into the cloud, not locally to the desktop itself. The other nice thing is that when you go ahead and execute on this, all of that telemetry also goes back to the cloud. So that, exp that those expectations you have around run history, those now apply to our local automation scripts as well. And nice. so obviously lots of opportunities for us to go way deeper but wanted to take this opportunity to show you what you'll be building all in a day. So even if you don't have RPA experience, you'll be able to go ahead and build this all throughout the course of just a single day, which is, is pretty awesome. Very, very cool. Okay, so you guys know what to do. Go ahead down below, check the description. We'll have some links there for you to the blog post where you can read about this, where you can download these files, it's all free. You can go ahead and go through it yourself at your own pace. You can organize something with coworkers. I think actually this is actually going to start going to a couple of training organizations as well who will start offering these in a day events. Uh, and so you can partake in those. And so lots of opportunities here. Go ahead and check the description to get started. And, uh, and yeah, thank you, Kent. Awesome, awesome tutorial, man. Yeah, and we do have some partners that are starting to roll out this training itself. I know uh, recently they sold out like that. Well, sold, sold out is the wrong term. They filled up like that. We had yeah. more demand than we did actually have seats. Uh, but yeah, like we're going to continue to support that ecosystem and really give people the opportunity to learn more about RPA and take their existing Power Automate skills and take them to another level. Awesome. And I think the other good part about this RPA in a day is like, you know, this eight hours gives you sort of a good perspective on this end to end scenario. And then there's a ninth lab, which allows you to run these bots in an unattended uh, manner. So which sort of gives you a, a good perspective on what the de development model is gonna look like and what the deployment model is gonna look like. So it's a fairly comprehensive, uh, you know, coverage that, that sort of this RPNOD gives you, which is pretty unique. 
Awesome. All right. Absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. Get it downloaded. Try it out. Leave us a comment about what you think about it and what we should cover for Power Automate Desktop next. All right. That's it. You guys go click like, get subscribed. We'll see you in the next episode. Later.